Hey guys, Matt from Eastwood. Let me just turn this off. Today we're going to be talking about uh, our tumbler, our offerings for our tumblers for cleaning uh, parts and small, small things like that. This is one of our live broadcasts, so if you guys haven't joined us on one of these before, uh, we want to do a little Q&A with everybody, so jump on the chat. If you're watching us on Facebook or YouTube, you can log right in. Uh, we have Scott as always here on the chat. Yep, so if you guys have any questions, make sure you get them to me. I can either answer them right here in the chat, or I can also shoot them over to Matt. So let's see some tumbling. <laughs> so uh, I'm not going to do any tumbling. I don't have any mats down today, but we're going to talk about tumbling parts or cleaning them with our tumbler. So uh, what I have here, the one that I had on when we first started, this has been running for about 24 hours now. This is our 18-pound tumbler. And the way that these work is it has a motor inside with some springs underneath here. And as you turn it on, actually I'll tighten this and let you guys see what it does. It's a joking, kind of get a shot. So it has springs underneath on the base. And as I turn this on, basically the vibration as it's turning and the springs are obviously loose, it lets it bounce around in a controlled manner and shakes the media that's inside. So I'll uh, open this up and then we'll try and, Joe, if you want to try and get in here close um, so we can show the guys and gals watching the soup that we got going on on the inside here. So on the inside here, maybe I'll tilt it for you a little bit. How's that? There we go. So the tumbler comes with comes with our green pyramid here, which is probably our most aggressive, I would say, uh, media for the tumbler. We also have a brown pyramid and there's a dry shine, which I'll show you in a little bit. But the the actual um, tumbler comes with both the green pyramid and also the dry, dry shine. And we put in the rough green pyramid to start out with. And yesterday, we put all this uh, in here. And I wanted to show you guys, we have a nice clip we can show you of uh, when we were setting all this up. And then I'll pull out what we have. So that's some parts from a, a Chevy engine here that I have that was obviously grimy. Um, we put some of our metal wash in with just some normal tap water, stirred it together, and then put it in with the green pyramids there, and I turned it on. That was yesterday. We started it up, and it ran. So the nice thing about the larger tumbler here is it actually has a drain on the back side here, um, and it comes with a little clamp. So that keeps the any kind of uh, fluid that you're going to put in there, a cleaning agent, keeps it from uh, coming out, and then we're ready to drain this out. We can release this clamp here. It'll run out into uh, a cup or a bucket, and then we can dispose of it, uh, which is really nice. And if you need to change the media out, you can do that. The key ingredient, like I mentioned, and we showed briefly, uh, is this metal wash here. So the get Joe. So the metal wash is uh, it's like a concentrated powder here that you put in, and I'll show you guys. So this, this powder we mix in, it's about, um, if, you, if you want to mix it in, the standard mixing is about two tablespoons um, to about 32 ounces of water. Uh, you can put a little more in if you want to, to make it a little stronger. And what this does, this is a little Eastwood secret, to speed up the process when using a tumbler, uh, this, is, this is kind of the key ingredient. If we put this in, the, the hardware that I showed you guys, with um, without any metal wash and leaving it dry, it's going to take days to get it as clean as we got here. So I'm going to start pulling out some of the media here, or uh, some of the hardware, and we'll put it on the table so you guys can see what we got. So we'll get Joe to come in and see how clean some of this stuff is coming out in here. Obviously, I'm wearing my gloves. This stuff isn't harmful to your skin, um, but it is still good to wear gloves because you don't know what's coming off of the uh, off of the hardware itself. So it's always good to check that. So I'm going to pull these out, lay it on the table here. And what we'll do is I'll get you guys a side-by-side -side shot so you can see how clean this hardware came out. And the hardware came out about, it was almost as clean as this within about five, six hours with the metal wash. Um, so we left it in there just a little longer to get some of the uh, pieces that were still a little stubborn clean. And I think I got just about everything here. So 
If you have any questions about the dry shine or the uh, pyramid media or the tumblers, feel free to shoot Scott a question as I'm fishing around in here for parts. Yep. Sure. While you're fishing around, there's two questions that sure. came in. Uh, first one is from Rue. He asked how many hours that that has been in for. So this, uh, we, we have this in here about 24 hours. Uh, this was, was in here. Uh, it was turned on and off as we were filming for different things, but about 24 hours. Um, but what I will say is it was almost, these were almost as good within five to six hours. Um, as you see here, it was, it was about that good in five to six hours, but I left it on just to get a little bit of the more stubborn grease and dirt and rust off of the pieces. Um, you could leave it in a little longer if you'd like um, to get that cleaner. And I think, like I said, I think I got most of it, but we'll, we can swap those out. But we got enough here that you guys can see the before and after. So I'm gonna set these here and then we'll drop a shot so you guys can see. We're gonna do some camera magic here. Ooh, there we go. All right, so you guys can see what we were starting with there and what it's left with. So I mean, before it was obviously just a greasy, rusty, dirty parts, and I did no prep work at all. That's one thing I want to mention to you guys. For me, why I love these is one of my most dreaded things is doing the prep work, the clean hardware. If you're trying to use original hardware, or as some of you guys may know, it gets expensive when you buy hardware. Um, when you're doing this, the prep work stinks. You know, cleaning it off with brake clean or parts clean uh, or putting in the media blaster is very time consuming. I just took the handful of hardware, threw it in there with the mix and turned it on and just walked away. And other than checking it here and there, that was it. This is a good one to show this part that's, that's brass here, how nice that came out. Oh, we couldn't even tell that this was brass in the beginning because it was in uh, such rough shape. So it does a really great job. You could run it in there a little longer if you choose to, but the nice thing is if you're using old hardware, if you're doing a restoration, this is really key because um, you can keep that original hardware uh, or the old hardware. You can save a couple bucks and it also does a nice job cleaning it up. So that was the green pyramids. They come in a bag. Um, we offer the 18 pound or the five pound, which is over here. Um, the five pound comes with a little two pound bag of both the green pyramid and also the dry shine. The larger one comes with seven pound bags um, that you can put in there also of the green pyramids or the dry shine. Now the dry shine is really nice if you guys are trying to go from where we're here uh, that's just basically virgin clean steel if you, or metal. If you want to take it up to uh, a polished or a high luster, uh, what you can do is you can take these all here like we had and I have it set up. Take my gloves off so we don't get this covered in our soup. Uh, so what you can do is you can take, I have the five pound set up here and we've put the dry shine in here. So we'll get Joe in and he'll show you what the dry shine looks like. And I'll, I'll turn this so it's a little easier to see. So the dry shine is basically ground up corn cob. So not only are we helping you guys and gals restore your old cars, we're saving the planet one corn cob at a time. <laughs> so this is uh, it's basically corn cob material that's ground up real fine. So it's not very abrasive, so it's not going to actually put a texture on the metal. It's just going to actually uh, put a polish on it and luster to it. So it's going to just take the minor, minor um, roughness in the hardware off and polish it up. So we can literally just throw this right in here like so into our dry shine and we can let this run. Now the nice thing is these are really quiet. So um, the tumblers are fairly quiet so you can still hold a conversation, you can still work. It's not terribly annoying to run these things. They do need to run for at least a few hours at a time, uh, if not overnight is best with these. So I'll turn the little guy on you here, how quiet it is. So that's basically it. That's your prep work to to run one of these uh, one of these tumblers, you throw it in, turn it on, walk away, which is really great. Any other questions that we have, Scott? Sure. Uh, so the next one would be about you know loading it up with media and stuff like that. What the you know media to part ratio is if you you know want to make sure you don't overload it. Yeah. So we do have these loaded. We do have these rated. 
in here. Obviously, the, the media, like uh, I mentioned, we, it comes with the 18 pound comes with about seven pounds of media. So you already know that you're starting off with about seven pounds inside of this, and you do not want to exceed the 18 pound within reason. You don't want to exceed that 18 pounds. So uh, it's generally for smaller hardware, so you don't want to be putting uh, big brackets and things like that in there. It needs to actually kind of bounce around. Um, if you're planning on doing a whole big bucket of hardware, I definitely suggest going with the, the 18 pound because you can fit a, quite a bit in there. Uh, you can take some of the uh, abrasive media out to kind of balance it out so you're not overloading the, the machine. But obviously, without the media in there, it's not going to clean quite as good and it's just parts bouncing around on each other. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, as long as you stay within that range of where it's at for the total weight, you should be okay. Um, but you don't want to be loading the 18 pound up with you know, 30 pounds of hardware and then you still got your seven pounds of, uh, of media in there, it's going to cause an issue. Sure. And the, only, and the other one we have too is just knowing when the media, you know, needs to be replaced, which it kind of does it for you. And we yeah. want to discuss about that a little bit. Um, so with the media itself, you can kind of tell on here, actually what it does, it's sort of sacrificial. Um, I don't know if Joe, you can see in here on this. Media is sort of sacrificial, so it's going to start to over time break up and, and come apart. Um, and the media here, there's sharp edges on it, so over time it's going to break up. The edges are going to come off of it and really start to be able to tell when, when the media is uh, going bad. But you can see all around the outside here. I'll put a turn it there. No? Yes? Maybe? There we go. See all those pieces in there. So over time, you're going to end up with more of these small little slivers than you are actual media um, pyramids, and that can that's kind of a quick sign to tell if your if your media is going bad. Other than that, we're good. Cool. All right, uh, that's all we have. We can uh, we're going to run this in the uh, in the dry shine. Let this run for another day or so. We'll throw a picture up on Instagram for you guys to check out uh, the polished pieces there, and uh, you can see what it what it turned out like. Uh, so you can grab these. This one's, um, obviously the price difference is about $100 on these, but uh, you can get a lot more hardware in there. So if you guys are doing big jobs, it's definitely worth the time to, uh, to grab the larger ones so that you can grow into it for, for a bigger job. Um, but if you're doing smaller stuff, especially this is popular with the guys and gals that are doing reloading for ammunition and uh, even jewelry making and things like that, you can use this smaller one and it works very well. Um, so you can grab the links. We got them right there in the comments. Uh, and you can check these out, get some more information, and also purchase right there on the website. Uh, as always, if there's anything that you guys have, oops, there we go. If you, there's anything you guys have suggestions for lives, whether it's a particular product or it's, it's something technical that you'd like to see us do, drop us a line in the comments. We'll do our best to put one of those on for you guys. We do that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time is our longer form ones. We're also doing every morning uh, around 8.30, we're doing our live daily deal of the day. So you can check that out. And it's usually 10% in free shipping off of uh, a particular item that we pick, one of our favorite products. And uh, you guys can grab that deal in the morning and also see us uh, see it in action, see us use it. So that's all I got for today. I appreciate it, guys. I'll catch you later.